Well, Facebook friends, as I have always said, Tell It Like It Is TV is about being fair and honest and having integrity. And yesterday when I left the Studio Movie Grill, I gave you a scathing review of the way that we were treated by the management, by the staff, by the way that they kept their establishment, by the food, the fact that they brought the wrong thing to the table, and then argued with us face to face over what a barbecue chicken pizza versus a pepperoni pizza looked like. Amazing to me. But it really goes back to training. So today I'm here with, he doesn't even have a name tag on, what is your name? Jason. Jason, I'm here with Jason at the Wing Bucket. And my wife and I just stopped in for a quick evening meal as the day is winding down. We're here in the hillside village of Cedar Hill. And as we ordered our food, we ordered the same thing. Like I told you last night, my wife is a creature of habit. When she's found her sauce, she knows exactly what her sauce is. And so she ordered the same bacon bourbon sauce that we had last time we were here. And when it got to the table, it was really, really dark. And she said, I think that's teriyaki. And so we asked the girl that brought it to the table and she said, let me take care of that and disappeared with the food in a matter of seconds. No request, no argument, no debate. Jason shows up at our table. He says, listen, actually it was the right sauce, but it had been out way too long. It, it should have never been served. And so I'm going to fix that. And he brought back fresh wings, freshly cooked, freshly dipped and brought them to the table and said, what else can I do for you? Now, I have to ask this question, Jason, is that Jason's MO, is that the way Jason was trained and Jason was brought up or is that a wing bucket training thing? Uh, that's the way we do it here at Wing Bucket. You know, if it's not right the first time, we're gonna make sure it's absolutely right for the guest. So you know, we take it upon the guests and you know, they're they're number one, always. So. I, I spent a lot of time in serving restaurants and working in retail and, and leadership management and things of that nature. I've always told people that I'm training and I've always heard since I was 13 or 14, the customer is always right. Is there ever a time the customer is not right? Well, of course. You know, there's always times where customers are, you know, exceed a little bit more of expectations, but we just try to fulfill that. You know? And if your food is not, you know, favorable, if you feel it's wrong, we'll be more than happy to do So yesterday at the Studio Movie Grill as we were leaving, there were about a dozen people in line complaining about the price of their food, random charges on their bill, food that was delivered wrong, food that was delivered cold, uh, there was actually a fight between a server and a guest. And the manager said, I, I don't know what to tell you. If that person worked here, how would you train them differently? Well, you, you just want to alleviate any type of fight. Uh, and a lot of that is just to side up hey, look, the customer and see what, they're, they're, what, what the problem is Good. and what the relation is with the food. So, um, you know, I would just grab the manager immediately. That's what we do here. We train our staff to grab the management, let them know what's going on, and then girl, come to garden, exceed the customer's needs. You know? Excellent. Well, I appreciate that. I appreciate Yay. you taking care of us, bringing the right food to the table, and taking a minute just to chat with us. Yep. There's another rave I want to let you know, too. I was at Cheesecake Factory for lunch yesterday. I didn't mention it when I left Studio Movie Grill, but at Cheesecake Factory, our server was Meredith. And she had the same kind of attitude as Jason. She made sure everything was on time. She made everything was made sure everything was right. If it wasn't, she fixed it immediately. They brought out a side order that somebody had not ordered at our table, but because someone touched it, they said, we'll leave it there. It's not on the bill. Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it. I love to go places where customer service is genuine, where people like Jason genuinely care about the customer who has shown up and is paying their check. As I said before, it doesn't matter who that person writing your check is. It may be your boss. And maybe your customer but if they're putting money in your pocket they're paying you to do a good job and customer service is number one if you want to get and keep customers no customer service no customers that's my opinion but if you want a good customer service stop into hillside village right here in cedar hill texas come around the corner to the wing bucket they've got a nice patio they got all the screens in for for video games if you ask sweetly you'll even get the 5g wi-fi access code gotta ask the right person to get it or look on Google because it's the phone number. Yeah, it's our phone number. <laughs> and if you want the best wings in Dallas, we do the full wings here. Oh, and if you've been to Pluckers, you might know about those big giant tenders type wings. You can get those or ribs or wings, all of those right here at the wing bucket. So I encourage you to stop by and see Jason. Tell him Lauren from Tell It Like It Is TV told you to stop by. And thanks again for watching. I'm Jay Lauren Norris with Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day. Absolutely. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate right. it. Thanks for your time.